Welcome to your new Doctite video. Today I will show you how to rescore your docking results in the first example with the implemented scoring functions Affinity DG and London DG, which are empirical scoring functions implemented in Mo. And in the second example, I will show you how to use the knowledge based and external scoring function DSX. This drug score extended scoring function developed by Professor Klebe in Marburg is not implemented yet in Mo, but I show you a little workaround. Um, with that, you can implement it or you can import your scoring results into your Rescore MDB. As input files, we need the one INC prep mo from the last example and the cleaved MDB also from the last example, the post prediction of PDB ID 1 INC. To use more internal scoring functions in rescoring is really, really easy. We can just open the receptor, go on compute and dock. We select post rescoring as the protocol, name our output file. We use our input file, the cleaved MDB in this case. Important is, even when you know, uh, not select the post rescoring protocol, is that you unclick rotate bonds because you don't want to generate confirmations here. We have already generated confirmations in our docking. Also important is not to use any placement. The geometry is fixed and um, in the MDB. So we don't want to use any placement. We use two scoring functions in, th in this example, the affinity DG score and the London DG score. As we had a maximum of 100 retaining poses in the docking example, we can just use also 100 here. So we won't lose any pose during rescoring. Now we just have to click on run and we have rescored our cleaved MDB database. Now here are several um, new fields that we don't need. We can just delete them. This is the same molecule as here, so we don't need it again. This is a receptor ID and molecule ID. We don't need them also. This score here is just the second score, so we can also delete it. We have it here. We delete these fields. Now, you may remember as the first scoring function, we used affinity DG. So I rename this field here. And the second scoring function was London DG. And now that's all we have rescored our molecules. Can now tidy up the database, move the scores together, and we can rename this score as affinity from docking. Now the database is sorted um, regarding the second scoring function, so the London DG score. And you see the top one pose is not really near native. It has an RMSD of over four angstroms. Just the second one is really the near, nearest native pose. And after that, there are again um, poses with RMSD values pretty much um, above the limit for a near native pose. That empirical scoring functions really have problems with prediction of uh, near native geometries is not unusual, that's um, totally normal. And also that the results from different scoring functions are very, um, yeah, very different. When we sort the affinity DG score here, you will see we have a near native pose as the top one pose, that's really good. 
the second with 1.6 angstroms, which is also a very nice prediction here in this example. But when you do unknown examples and a variety of examples, then I recommend to use um, the knowledge-based or uh, scoring functions DSX or another knowledge-based scoring function for just the prediction of the nearest native pose. Because um, these scoring functions are trained with uh, real complexes, real near-native geometries, and um, identifying the near-native pose is, is really the key skill. And after that, you can um, calculate the energy with an empirical scoring function because they are really good in this um, task. To use two scoring functions in one docking for different purposes is what we call a consensus scoring or multi-scoring approach that we also recommend uh, when you use Doctide. DSX is not implemented in Mo uh, yet, but I show you a little workaround how you can get the results from DSX into our Rescore MDB here. It's a little tr a bit tricky, but maybe um, someday it will be one of the implemented scoring functions. First, you need a unique identifier for every docking pose. This unique identifier is used to merge our databases after the import of the DSX results and has to start with a zero. And then just zero, one, two, three for every pose in um, the database that should be rescored. To do this, we go on Compute, Calculator. We calculate in a destination field named number because it's also named number in the DSX output. We use an integer as field type and we calculate index minus one because index will start with one and we want to start with zero, so index minus one. We evaluate and now we have a unique identifier starting with zero in a field named number. Now, DSX um, needs a mol2 file as input with just the molecule in it. And it's very important that you don't change the sorting now till you have saved your input structure. You go on save. Rescore MDB. And we change the output to Tripos mol 2 file. We just want uh, the selected fields to be saved and not just the selected entries. We want the complete database to be saved. Next, we need a PDB structure without a ligand. So we delete the ligand. We click on control while clicking on one of the atoms and then on delete. Now we have no ligand in our structure and we save it to one INC prep PDB. You can also use a mol2 file here. Um, DSX accepts PDB, ID, uh, PDB files or mol2 files for the input of the receptor. Now there are two possibilities to use the DSX rescoring. One possibility is uh, the web interface in this address here. You find it also in the doc type menu, this address. And here you can register totally free of charge. And after login, you can assign a new DSX online job. In this job, we use the protein file that we created, the 1INC prep PDB, and we use 
the ligands file. Rescore mole 2. We use CSD potentials in this example because with CSD um, potentials we can use the torsion score. Um, this is not possible in combination with PDB potentials. Then we use cofactors, waters and metals uh, that should be treated as part of the protein. We don't have any in our example. Um, any cofactors in metals, waters, of course. We want to score torsions. We want to score the solvent accessible surface. And we want to consider covalent ligands. When you click on visualize, you will get um, a Python script that will enable you to um, view the calculated DSX per atom score in PIMO. You will get red spheres for bad potentials and green spheres uh, for good potentials. And the size is um, correlated with the amplitude of the score. We don't need it here. And we just select Submit Data and start the calculation. Now we have no error. Sometimes when your input database is too big, when you have approximately um, 1000 poses, then it will get an error here and you have to use the standalone version that you can download here on this button and uh, you can use it on any Unix system. I tested it with um, also a Mac and on uh, Linux Ubuntu and it works perfectly. Now we view our job status. It is finished, everything fine and we want to show the results for this job. We download the DSX results file and save it to our working directory. Now we have two possibilities uh, to edit this text file, this DSX output file, um, that Mo can import it into an MDB file. The easiest way to do it is to use our DSX Excel macro that was delivered uh, with Doctite in the uh, archive, in the downloaded archive. So I show you how to do it fully automatically with our um, macro. You just go on developer tools and then on macros. And now you find this DSX import macro in this file and you go on run. Now you see the DSX output file and just open it. And now the file was completely automatic um, edited. There were several lines that had to be uh, deleted and so we um, realized that in a little um, macro file here. And now I show you how to do it by hand. You can of course do this in a normal um, text editor. But I show you it, how to do it in Excel. You go on data, import from text, delimit it, and we use the pipe as delimiter. And now you see here, is, um, here are several lines of text that have to be deleted. And also this line here has to be deleted. This is just what the macro did. And we can use the automatic file. We save it as text tab stop delimited. And of course, in our working directory. Text, tab stop delimited. This is very important. DSX, rescore text. 
Yeah, Excel says that this is a text file and not a real Excel file. This is okay. And now Mo can import this file. We import it into a temporary DSX MDB. It has no um, field in it before the import. You can delete it afterwards. It's, it's just a temporary file. And we go on File, Import. And now we add the edited file, not the DSX output file, the edited file. And you see we have the field names and the field types. So the RMSD is, uh, we had no template in the DSX rescoring, so we have no RMSD. We also don't use um, the rank here. So we delete these fields. One other possibility is just not to import them in the import window, of course, or just to keep them. And now the workaround is nearly finished. We can open Rescore MDB. Oops. Go on File, Merge. We want to merge with the temporary DSX MDB, not in a new database, but in the input database one. So we unclick new database, go on next. And now you see why we generated this number field. We need a key field that is exactly the same in both databases. And this is the number field. Now when Mo asks, which field we want to import and we want all, so we don't have to do anything here. And there are only shared entries when we did anything right. So we can just import shared entries. And here should be no duplicate and no unshared entries. Otherwise, um, something went wrong. And maybe you have to start again with the rescoring process. Now you see, we have the DSX scores in our Rescore database. Now we can sort by the DSX score. And you see, um, yeah, in this case, the affinity DG scoring function was even better. But we have two very nice um, near native poses. We say, Below two angstroms, this is called near native. Um, yeah, so with affinity DG and with DSX, we get very good results in this example. But um, in total, when I um, have to say which one to rely on, when I don't know exactly which is the near native pose, I would rely on the DSX score for post prediction. So I hope this little uh, tutorial helped you and I would be very happy to see you again in one of my next videos.